Hello, welcome to a quick demonstration of using this transformation tool with the Desmos geometry tool. And one of the reasons that I wanted to show it in particular is for questions where you might see um, something like this one on the, the third question. It has a shape for you, it asks you to do a transformation, <coughs> and then you have to say where would the points be after that transformation in the image. So first of all, if you click on this link, you're gonna get a graph that looks like this. It's just a bunch of lines drawn on a grid, um, pre-drawn for you. And what you can do then, especially if you have your screen in like a side-by-side -side mode, you can make this shape and then do the translation that it asks you to do. So first it says uh, we have X, Y, W, W, X, Y, Z. I don't have to label the points the same, but I'm going to put them on this picture with those four points. W is at two, zero, so that's right here. And X is one, two. Then Y is up one and right one from that point. And Z is down here at five, negative one. And then to finish off the shape, you have to click back on your original point, which in this case was the W. Now that I have that, I can transform this shape. The transformation it asked me to do is six units to the left. Um, so if I wanna do a transform and I choose the translation, it's going to ask me from how far to how far. So it's going to, I need to mark a point to start and a point to finish. And six units to the left, I can start at any point, but I got to move six units to the left uh, to finish that transformation. So I'm going to choose to go from uh, this two, zero here, this W point, and I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to go that distance. Then it says select some objects to apply this transformation. The object I'm gonna select is this shape. I don't wanna click on the lines or the points, but kind of the shape in the empty space. And I click apply. And there's my new shape with these corner points. Now it's gonna be up to the student to match those corner points to something here in the list. And just as a refresher, let's see if I can do like a second example with a slightly different um, question on there. So now we have this same quiz. Let's see if it changes the question. Yes, it does. And this time it says four units left and one unit up. So I'm going to refresh this screen. In fact, I'll even reload this screen. See if it gives me a new question again. It does not. But I do want to show you how you can do some other things, um, especially the dilations and also the uh, reflections. So I'm going to have this shape here, PQRS, and the points for that shape, click on the polygon tool, start with P down here at 1, negative 3, and we have Q, and R is out at 5, 0, and S is down here, looks like right there, and then we close it off. Okay, so let's see some of the other tools and what you can transform. So we've seen a translation, uh, and that was like a start and end point. But if I want to do, let's say, a reflection, it's going to ask me what line of reflection do I want. I could do the y equals x line, and then it'll say, what do you want to reflect? I click on my shape and apply, and it says, awesome. It would look like that. Let's say I want to do a rotation. If I wanted to rotate, I'm going to rotate usually around the center. And I'm going to rotate, let's say, uh, 270 degrees. And then I can click on this shape. 
and it will apply that rotation, and that's a spin of 270 degrees. I'll take back each of those. So I'll turn this one off, turn this one off. And now let's do the dilation. So a dilation, you have to choose your center point in most of these on this quiz. You will see that it's dilating from the origin or zero, zero. It'll ask you how much you want to dilate by. Let's say we want to dilate by 0 0.5 or 0 0.5. That would be the same as like one half. I'll click on the object, and click apply, and it'll give me that dilation. And then I need to interpret those movements. So this is how you can use the geometry tool to go along with um, any of these questions really, but especially that third question. That's all.